Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best budget joystick. Starting at number 5. Logitech G Extreme Pro 3D. If you're not quite ready to commit to the price point of something like the Warthog, the Logitech G Extreme Pro 3D has a much more digestible cost. We regularly see this stick available for well under $40 slash a pound 40 and it's got everything you need to get started in the world of flight sims. A one-handed rudder twisting control keeps a small footprint for your setup as a whole, and there's still plenty of programmable buttons to fiddle with as well. An 8-way hat switch, throttle control, and 3-axis movement, there's an impressive array of features baked in for the price here. Not only that, but it comes with a solid build quality and a smaller footprint. Perfect if you don't want to keep your setup on the desk all the time. The G Extreme Pro 3D certainly won't see more experienced flyers through a long session, but if you're just testing the waters, this is a solid place to start with a taster of everything to come without the much larger price tags. Coming at number 4. Thrustmaster TCA Side Stick. If you're just looking for a joystick to see you through Flight Simulator with a little more realism, you don't need to spend much. For single game purposes, the Thrustmaster TCA Sidestick Airbus Edition is all you need, and you're getting FS-specific features and a classy authentic Airbus design to boot. With four swappable heads and a few programmable buttons for good measure, this is a solid piece of kit considering it won't run you past $70 slash a pound 65 on a good day. Originally launched as part of the brand's collaboration with Airbus, the TCA line has gone on to become one of the more popular affordable joystick options on PC. Of course, you can fully kit it out with quadrant peripherals for an all-encompassing experience, but the beauty here is you can build to this over time. You'll have everything you need to take to the skies from day one here, with more impressive add-ons always waiting if you feel you need them. At Number 3 Turtle Beach Velocity 1 Unlike a traditional HOTAS, Turtle Beach Euro trademark S debut into flight sim control interfaces is more like a flight stick that just happens to have thruster inputs. The PC and Xbox compatible Velocity Oni Euro trademark S non-traditional design works though, thanks to some high-grade construction materials and subtle design touches. At 0% and $100 of each thruster, for example, is an additional input. You a Euro trademark LL feel a click at each extreme, and those clicks register as buttons 9 to 12. The flight stick has a lot of resistance, which can be divisive. Eat a Euro trademark as precise and snappy, but circling around the center point is tricky when it wants to snap back to the middle with such force. Theta Euro trademark as less of a big deal in combat flight sims, but when you a Euro trademark re trying to baby a jetliner down onto the runway, you want subtle inputs. The base is no Euro trademark T, the heaviest either, so at times that snappy resistance can tip or nudge the whole unit. Number 2 of my list Logitech GX56 Hodas. Here we have the Thrustmaster T. Flight Hodas X. You may notice this looks somewhat similar to the Thrustmaster T. Flight Hodas 4, and well, that's right. The Hodas X is the predecessor, which means it's only compatible with PS3 and PC, but for some reason, Thrustmaster is still producing it and it's often easier to find stock of. This means that if you're a PC gamer looking for a budget Hodas, this is the way forward because the lack of current gen console compatibility won't be an issue. Plus it should be slightly cheaper. All the above aspects of the HOTAS 4 apply here too. We were impressed by the fact that it has same number of buttons, same design, same weight, etc. The HOTAS X has a red accent compared to the blue on the HOTAS 4, but it's purely an aesthetic choice. When testing the HOTAS X we found that it does have a somewhat notable dead zone on both the stick and the throttle. That can be a pain to work with when it comes to small movements, but it's unconfirmed whether this has been fixed in the HOTAS 4 or not. At the end of the day, you'll be able to grab a HOTAS X for prices cheaper than most other joysticks. So it's a solid choice if you want to simply see what it's like to use a flight stick for PC. And number 1. Thrustmaster HOTAS Warthog. We're starting off with the biggest and the best. As mentioned above, if you're a newbie when it comes to the world of flight sticks, 
Chances are you want to skip over the Thrustmaster Hoda's Warthog because this is a replica of military-grade equipment that will set you back around $380 a pound 400. Yikes! That's where the drawbacks stop though, because if you know you'll get enough use out of this bad boy, then it's the absolute best on the market. A warning needs to be had though, don't drop this on your toe, or you'll end up crippled because it weighs over 15 pounds in total. If you've no experience with this type of peripheral before then it'll take some getting used to, but boy oh boy does it excel when it feels natural. It has 55 reprogrammable buttons and switches, which is an astounding amount when you consider the fact a standard controller has what, less than 20? Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.